Good morning. I'm back in the barn to work on my old uh, Union bicycle. In the previous video in this series, I partially disassembled the bike and managed to remove the bottom bracket. Here it comes with some uh, struggle and stupidity. And there it is. As you can see, even after a bit of cleanup, the remains are not looking that great. So I will definitely have to find a replacement if I want to get this uh, bicycle rolling again. And I need to get it rolling again, because my other bicycle is starting to make uh, strange noises that uh, probably need some attention. So in this video I'm going to take apart the rear wheel hub and reassemble it with new ball bearings. So with some luck this should be a relatively easy job. So let's bring in the tools. It should be easy but it might get uh, a little bit dirty. I think I'll go outside to clean off this uh, dried up grease. I brushed off all of the dried up grease and this actually still looks better than expected. It might, uh, it might still work with a new chain. It definitely doesn't have a sawtooth pattern. So I found the uh, correct cone wrench and I think that big nut is a number 17. Something went wrong. Huh. It's already loose. It's gonna be a great day. And now I should be able to take off the cone. And then I should have access to the balls. Or I should be able to uh, remove the uh, axle. The, the balls in here are still uh, silvery colored. I'll flip over the wheel and then I should be able to remove the axle. There it is. And there you can see the uh, uh, brake mechanism. You guys should pay uh, close attention how I take this apart. That way uh, I remember how to put it all back together. So these here are all of the parts that came out when I started pulling that tab here. Lots of grease. And I think there is some wear on these uh, on these brakes, but that doesn't really matter because in the Netherlands here we don't uh, need any brakes because we don't have any mountains. This uh, this cage here and the outside here it uh, seems to be a bit misformed, but who knows? It might still be reusable if I cannot find any new parts. Alright, I will uh, throw these into the diesel to get them cleaned up. Oh, go swim into the dirty diesel. So next I'm going to uh, remove this gear. But honestly, I want to remove this uh, inner part. But I have no idea how that is uh, assembled. And I'm not sure if I have the uh, proper tool for that. But somehow I should uh, gain access to the uh, ball bearings. And in order to get there, this will have to come out too. But first I'm going to pry off this gear. And give it a little cleanup. Some sort of ring washer thing. And there it is. Some sort of worm gear. Well, no uh, special tool uh, needed. And uh, 
there are the ball bearings and a whole lot of dirty dirty sticky grease that looks like molasses terrible well these parts can all go for a swim now now go try operate a camera with this uh, sticky gunk on your fingers I think at some point this must have been grease of some kind and here's a close-up of the uh, ball race it's also full with that sticky grease so I better clean it up so far I found two ball cages but there's a third one here hiding behind the uh, the uh, brake reaction arm and uh, it looks like there's a whole lot of uh, dried up grease in this uh, uh, ball cage as well and the balls are a bit loose in here but I better clean this up as well so I can take it with me when I go hunting for new parts although the uh, shops in this country are still partially closed because of the whole corona thing who knows I might actually find the uh, bicycle mechanic hanging from a uh, cord in the back of his shop because this is getting a bit uh, depressing for a lot of people I think this green thing used to be in a 5 liter engine coolant uh, container well I'll leave this uh, to soak for a while so here are all of the parts after they had a little swim in the uh, dirty diesel I think they look uh, reasonably clean, although I could have done a better job on these uh, ball cages. But why bother? I'm going to replace these uh, anyway. Although these cages are not really necessary, you can also go with uh, bare balls. Although uh, lubing things up might get uh, awkward, might get messy. Um. I should also replace uh, uh, the cones on uh, both the, uh, the coaster's brake side and this other side. Um, they both have some uh, damage as you can see on these uh, uh, close-up photographs. Um, the uh, ball race on this uh, coaster brake part is uh, still okay and reusable. As is the cup or uh, the ball race on the uh, uh, wheel hub. But if these parts are available and cheap, I might uh, replace them as well. I still need to uh, disassemble the rest of the axle so I can take uh, the cone off to take it with me to the bike shop. But before I take it apart, I should measure the amount of stick out. And it's about 28 millimeters. And that uh, should make it easier to place the uh, cone back at the same uh, position when uh, reassembling. So I disassembled the axle and now I can take uh, the cone with me to the bike shop. Although it uh, slipped in the vise and now it has dented this uh, dust cover. So ideally this should also be replaced. Although I can try and uh, get this uh, back into shape but maybe the bicycle will do just fine without uh, this dust cover so next weekend I'm going to visit the uh, local bike shop and see if uh, the guy can help me with uh, some of these parts hopefully all of these parts um, the worst thing that can happen I will end up buying this stuff uh, on the internet or at least uh, try and get some uh, ball bearings but that usually takes a long time to get it delivered here and I refuse to buy stuff from uh, Amazon as I think Amazon is just a big time uh, corona profiteer so I paid a visit to my local buy guy and lucky for me 
he wasn't uh, too difficult about uh, all these uh, corona measures in this country. Uh, so he gave me a complete coaster brake uh, hub. So now I should have all of the parts needed to rebuild uh, my wheel. I found some markings on the side of the uh, brake reaction arm. It says 3KT, his stop, and some uh, numbers. And the same writing can also be found on, uh, on the old uh, reaction arm. So uh, this should work out just fine. The only difference that I found so far is the uh, axle is just a little bit shorter. But that uh, shouldn't be a problem as I can reuse the old axle. Shut up chickens. Don't mess with the recordings. No, that's not going to happen. I think I uh, better put this thing in the vise. After loosening things up in the vise, let's take this thing apart. And this will be a perfect clip to go into fast forward. Um, I will also take apart the axle so I can swap it out with the old one. So here you can see the difference in the length of the axle. It's maybe uh, half a centimeter, maybe a hair more. So I guess now I need to uh, reassemble things. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time cleaning this uh, black grease up. I'll just add some extra grease and slap things back together. And I will start on the uh, coaster brake side. First the cone that uh, drives the coaster brakes. It is a bit of a messy job. The new dust cover. And a nut. A little bit less. And that's probably close enough. So next I need to fish out the brake shoes. And I'm not going to reuse this part. Um, now I need to get the wheel. I cleaned the inside and I'm going to uh, reinstall everything with some uh, lithium grease. 
not sure if uh, that's a good idea but it is what I have and it is what I will use and now the brake shoes so I'm sure I made a mistake there so let's uh, try that again a little extra grease again not sure if that's a good idea but it should prevent uh, rust and now the uh, dirty cage with ball bearings and next is the uh, brake reaction arm and then I will flip it around Something's wrong, and I have no idea what. And that dirty grease is driving me crazy. It gets everywhere. I just noticed that there is a difference between these uh, two hops. Uh, the old one is a lot lower than the new one. Let's see. This is about and that's two point eight. Or uh, three millimeters, and on the other one, almost five and a half. I'm not sure if this is going to be a uh, problem, but uh, well, I guess I will find out uh, eventually. Moving on, a little bit of extra grease. Shouldn't hurt, I hope. And now this uh, part should go in here. Like this. No grease. And now ball cage I should wash my hands that black stuff gets everywhere I think this ring goes on here and now uh, another cone Not too tight. That's too tight. And this ring should be held in place by the uh, by the gear. the gear it should be dished outside like this and our clip to keep things in place I think that pretty much concludes the whole assembly. I guess now I should uh, put it. Well, something's wrong here. No, it just feels uh, wrong. I think it works fine.
I think it works fine. That's uh, that's nice. Well, I'm not completely sure how this is going to work out since I did use uh, old brake shoes on an uh, even older uh, hub. Um, yeah, you're not supposed to do things like this uh, with cars. But maybe it'll be just fine uh, yeah, with uh, bicycle brakes. And again, we don't have any uh, hills or mountains in the Netherlands, so brakes are really optional over here. I had to move my tail out of the way to create room for my bicycle in the barn studio. But here it is again. Let's continue this production. Let's reinstall the wheel. I'll do a quick uh, mock-up to test things. But first, let's flip around the wheel, because it is not going to work like this. This is the proper way. A washer. And I'll do the same on the other side, although I do not have the same nuts and washers. The whole uh, setup seems to be a little bit uh, smaller than before. It's tighter. Uh, it feels like I'm uh, pinching the frame together. Yeah, that really shouldn't matter. It's not something I'm worried about. Will still working. There's no more side to side slop in the uh, wheel hub. And now let's test the uh, the brake with this uh, chain whip. I haven't uh, fixed the uh, brake reaction arm, but it seems to be doing its job. So, that's a uh, big success, but I guess a uh, proper test uh, will have to follow once I have uh, reinstalled a new bottom bracket and a chain. So the next time in this uh, series I'm going to reinstall the uh, bottom bracket and I do have uh, the proper replacement parts for that. I don't think it was necessary to uh, swap out the axle. There seems to be enough clearance on, uh, on both sides of the axle. I guess that is what you get when you pinch together a frame. Yeah, that's not working. The uh, brake reaction arm here is hitting the frame. So my homemade uh, bracket here doesn't fit anymore. That's another little problem. That needs to be fixed. Something for the next time.
check out my new clocks. And I guess they should be a lot warmer than the old ones. I think I stepped on a uh, little rock or an acorn. I guess you will be hearing a lot more from these. Pretty, huh? Perfect. Although I still don't believe you really need brakes in the Netherlands. The YouTube people seem to like their uh, safety shit. Till next time and to be continued.